Mr. Speaker, um, I have a great amount of respect for the maker of the bill, the gentleman from Philadelphia. I certainly believe he is trying to do what's right for his home city. Um, I still think I have to vote against this bill. Uh, I came here, my, my constituents sent me here originally because I promised to fight against property taxes. I, I think if we pass this amendment and begin the process of getting it to the voters, I think we further cement the property tax as a permanent uh, fixture in Pennsylvania. And I, I, frankly, I would prefer to eliminate the property tax. Um, I put this question out to a number of my friends in Philadelphia who aren't in the General Assembly. Um, I have friends on both sides of the aisle, left and right. In fact, one of them runs a liberal think tank um, that you probably get a lot of emails from. And without exception, they all panned this idea. And, and that gave me great concern. But the most troubling response I got was from a member of the, the Democrat side of the aisle who said unprompted, he said, well, I don't particularly support this idea, but if we allow this exception to the uniformity clause, that means someday we'll be able to get a graduated income tax. Now, I think that in my own mind, but I don't say it out loud because I don't want people calling me a right-wing kook. But here it was, right in front of me, volunteered to me, <laughs> volunteered to me by somebody who I would have been afraid to have heard it, heard it from. So, again, I have the greatest respect from the gentleman from Philadelphia, the maker of the bill. Um, but for those reasons, Mr. Speaker, I will be voting no on this proposed constitutional amendment, and I would ask the members to do the same. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.